not sure what major to be in, you want to go into pre-med or maybe pre-dental someday and not sure what to study in college, well your answer is biochemistry. In this video, we're going to be going over why you should choose biochemistry as your major if you want to be a medical student and a doctor one day. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Austin. I am a fourth year biochemistry major at Virginia Tech. And over the past three years, I've been able to maintain a perfect GPA throughout all of my core classes. So I think I have the proper qualifications to talk about why biochemistry is the major for you. So without further ado, let's get to point number one. The major itself, biochemistry, is a combination of biology and chemistry and an interdisciplinary kind of topic where we look at chemical and biological processes specifically within the body, which is extremely applicable for any of you uh, want to be doctors one day who want to go to medical school. In addition, if you want to be a biochemistry major, you're going to have to take these core classes right here from all the way from your biologies to your chemistries and your biochemistries. And these classes are notoriously pretty rigorous in college, so if you do well in these and take these classes, it is a pretty good predictor of how your study habits and whatnot will translate over to being a medical student and a doctor one day. Because as you guys know, being a medical student is going to be a lot of studying, and if you pick a really uh, academically challenging major as your undergrad, nothing's going to be really that much different when you go to medical school. And even after you finish undergrad biochemistry, when you're in medical school, you're still going to have to take your biochemistry classes and all of the possible drug interactions you're going to be learning with different medicines, different genetic conditions, different diseases, they're all going to be based on biochemistry. Biology and chemistry as a major themselves are pretty good, but biochemistry really focuses on the application of those into real life organisms, which is kind of why biochemistry is the best major if you want to be a medical student or doctor one day. But Additionally, admissions committee members on medical school boards do consider your major, and if you're taking a more difficult major like biochemistry, for example, they kind of know what classes you're going to be taking and see that, hey, this person is really actively trying to push themselves, and we want someone like that who is ambitious in our medical school class. Now, let's go into point number two, which is the MCAT. As you guys know, I studied for the MCAT over the past summer, and I made a whole bunch of videos on it on this channel, and I really credit my uh, success and my achievements on the MCAT practice exam to my biochemistry major. And this is so because on the MCAT there's actually a bio biochemistry section and that has a whole section dedicated to just biochemistry and how to apply your knowledge. Additionally, just like in the previous point I mentioned, if you are a biochemistry major, you're going to be taking a lot of your, you know, chemistries, organic chemistry and your physics classes, which is another section on the MCAT. So it's actually very applicable when you're studying in school to the things you're learning on the MCAT. Let me show you a practice example. For example, this semester I'm taking a class called Gene Regulation and Medicine, and the stuff we're learning right here, the central dogma, is exactly applicable to not only biology, but also biochemical topics. We're learning about the central dogma, dysregulation, as well as different hierarchies of gene regulation, including acetylation and methylation. Additionally, we're also learning things like histones and acetylation, which is a very high yield topic, gene transcription on the MCAT. Granted, this class does go a little bit more in depth, but my point still stands that once you take classes like this, it is very, very applicable for the MCAT. Because if you learn it more in depth, you know, when you're on the MCAT, it's going to be a lot easier. And finally, this is just a pretty hard major in general. So if you are putting your time into your classes, studying for the MCAT is going to be kind of like a second nature. Some folks who might be taking a little less rigorous of a major might find it a little bit more difficult to adjust to their rigorous studying schedule that the MCAT demands. But because you choose biochemistry, it's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier. So the third reason why you should pick biochemistry as your major if you want to be a doctor one day is the fact that a lot more students are taking gap years. According to the AAMC official data, the now median age for starting medical school is somewhere around 24 to 25, when in previous years people can go straight from undergrad when they're freshly 21 or 22 and be in medical school, but a lot more people are taking gap years. And one of the factors that contribute to that is just that pre-meds are getting smarter. A lot more folks have a lot more experience under their belts getting clinical hours, and maybe they want to show they have more academic abilities, and what they'll do is go out and get a master's program. If you are a biochemistry major, that is actually perfect for you if you want to pursue one of these master programs. I know for a fact at Virginia Tech, I've worked with a lot of masters and PhD students in my undergraduate research lab, and I even have some master's students in some of the classes I'm taking right now. This major is extremely applicable to not only undergrad, but also masters, because when you're a master's student, you can make your own projects within research labs you choose to work in, and oftentimes those projects have something to do exactly going from biochemical research 
into medical applications, which is so applicable to this day's age of medical school and if you wanna be a doctor. Because, you know, a lot of medical schools love research on applicants' applications, and this is no accident. Oftentimes in medical school, a lot of the students will be doing research on the sides, and a lot of your teachers and whatnot will also be doing medical research. So research is really going to be, you know, pushing the brink of uh, next generation's uh, medical and therapeutic applications. So research is extremely important and doing a master's degree can be a really viable option. Additionally, on top of the master's program, there's also PhDs. There's a lot of undergrads who wish to do an MD PhD. And in order to apply for an MD PhD program, you need to show schools, hey, you're really dedicated to the research side of medicine and you want to be a physician scientist. And in order to do so, you need to have a lot of research hours, probably some papers and publications under your belt when you apply. And how do you do that? If you said biochemistry, you'd be correct. Biochemistry is literally the perfect major for getting all these research opportunities and applying it when you apply to med school, whether it be for getting a master's or doing MD, PhD. All right, finally guys, the last point, it is currently dark outside. I'm filming this last point here at home. The last reason why you should pick biochemistry as your major is because of the job prospects. AI is pretty scary and you know, the future seems pretty dark for a lot of jobs out there, but currently we still need biochemists. We still need people to run experiments and you know, know how to use a pipette and run quality control and maybe be a researcher in a lot of different industry or pharmaceutical companies. Whether you're doing Western plots or making vaccines, when you're working in industry, that is something that AI just can't do yet. So picking biochemistry does have pretty stable job prospects if you don't intend on going into healthcare. Having a biochemistry major not only allows you to work in labs, but also allows you to work in more business and administrative roles if that is what you desire. For example, you could work sales or maybe even work in a company on the more administrative side at Millipore Sigma which is a really well-known biochemistry um, company. Or maybe you could be a consultant. You know, there's actually biochemistry consultants. They're not just for legal and other like medical consultants, but biochemistry also, you could be a consultant if you choose. Granted, I'm not really in that space, so I don't know the really wide breadth and depth of the possibilities of biochemistry within these administrative roles, being a consultant, but I definitely know that they do exist and they are pretty uh, nice careers if you choose to go down that path. All in all, biochemistry as a degree provides you with a very solid understanding of all the STEM courses that you need if you want to pursue healthcare or maybe graduate school or maybe even industry. If you guys have any more questions about biochemistry, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of your questions as I possibly can. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.